If you're pregnant or a new mum, it's really important to make sure you're in good shape emotionally. Coming to terms with having a new baby is incredibly stressful. Many people don't realise that mental health problems, including depression, anxiety and post-traumatic stress, affect around 2 in 10 women in pregnancy and in the year after having a baby. I found it really, really hard, really hard, really down. If you feel low or emotional when you're pregnant or have a new baby, it can be tempting to tell yourself it's normal or put it down to other things. The, the kind of heavy feeling and feeling like, oh no, you know, this isn't right. I put it down to tiredness, hormones. But if these feelings last more than a few days or make it difficult for you to behave or function normally, they could be a sign of something more serious. The single most important thing you can do for you and your baby is talk to your GP, midwife or health visitor and get some help. Don't kind of leave it to yourself and don't think that it's just a phase that you might, it might pass over. Sometimes it doesn't usually just pass by itself. And I think if you notice that you're feeling quite low, I say definitely go and seek help. If you don't know the first step to take, maybe speak to someone close to you, like maybe a friend or your mum or a sister or a brother or a cousin. But if you, know, if you don't have anyone like that that you can actually go to first, I say just go to your GP. For some women, Mental health problems are something they've experienced before. Morgan had a history of mental health problems and wasn't sure whether to tell her midwife. I sort of froze and didn't know whether to tell them that I'd experienced mental health problems in the past and I sort of went through this 10 seconds of panic in my head, like, do I tell them? Are they going to take my baby away from me? I decided I would tell the midwife. And for me, that was such a good decision. If you've got a pre-existing mental health problem and you find out that you're pregnant, it's really important that you tell your doctor or midwife so that you can have an extra chat about those things and how best they can support you. I did get the help that I needed and it was in the right way. It wasn't threatening. It was prevention. It was that there was a plan in place and they gave me numbers of people I could call all hours of the day if I was ever feeling like something wasn't quite right. But for others, mental health problems arise for the first time without any warning when you're pregnant or have a baby. The good news is they can be treated. Counselling and talking therapies can help. If you need to take medication, there are options that are safe if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. And nobody is going to take your baby away if you're depressed or anxious. If you had a broken leg you wouldn't hesitate to tell other people. People would pick you up, drive you to the hospital, you'd have support from them, cups of tea, you'd have uh, support from professionals, you'd have treatment, and you wouldn't feel ashamed about it, and you wouldn't feel frightened. And this really isn't that different. So let other people help you, and, and help you to recover, uh, so that you can get back to your normal self quickly. But it's best if problems can be prevented before they happen, and there are many ways to stay well emotionally. The best thing you can do is look after yourself, and eat a good diet as best you can, and just take walks when you can, and meet up with friends, and try and connect with friends and family so that you can get that support around you. So that, those are really important things to keep in your mind. And we, we do have some extra videos for you to watch if you need some more information about this. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health and you can find lots more information if you download the free Baby Buddy app. There are over 40 videos with mothers and health professionals to help you look after your mental health. <laughs>